Greetings citizens of the world. Democrats have revealed their true colors after losing an election. These are not mentally stable people. A Democrat lawmaker from Maine is under fire for a profanity-filled rant insulting supporters of President Trump and ultimately threatening to assassinate the duly elected president. Well then FKU, snowflake. You're a fking py.c, it's not only Trump supporters who can talk like complete assholes said Maine Representative Scott Homan in a lengthy Facebook comment. As long as that's what's coming out of that side, then I'll match you dumb FKS word for word. Trump is a half-term president, at most, especially if I ever get within 10 feet of that PY, he wrote. The Maine lawmaker is currently serving his third term in office. Scott Homan serves on the Health and Human Services Committee, as well as a committee dedicated to legalizing marijuana. The Democrat must have been smoking something if he thinks he can get away with explicit death threats aimed at the President of the United States. Democrats have completely lost their minds since the election of President Trump. The left has lost all human decency and regard for law and order in their attacks against the President. Haman would be wise to remember that threatening the life of the President is a felony offense carrying up to five years in prison and a $250,000 fine. It is one thing for desperate D-list celebrities and has-been musicians like Kathy Griffin and Madonna to utter death threats against the president, but it is an entirely different matter for an elected official to muse publicly about murdering the leader of the free world. Haman's seditious rant forces us to question the mental stability of the elected official. Should someone who is willing to assassinate the president be allowed to hold office? Demi Kuzalnas thinks not. She is the chair of the Maine Republican Party and is calling on the House Speaker to do something about the demented Democrat. Words cannot even begin to describe the level of revulsion I feel after reading Rep. Scott Homan's recent tirade that has come to light, she said in a statement. The people of Maine should seriously consider whether this is the type of person they want representing them in their state. 